final score in South Bend, Indiana. Ohio State, 17, Notre Dame, 14. I swear, you, you get the whole seat for this game, you only needed the edge. Came down to the final play, Chip Trainum just says, ah, give me that. Gets in the end zone to finish it for Ohio State. I mean, this was, I mean, you, you could not script a better finish to this game. To be real, nobody deserved to lose. But Ryan Day now, we're going to talk about that a little bit more in this video, but he has some words. He had some words for Lou Holtz. He had some words for a lot of people with the microphone that wanted to talk about Ohio State not being tough. And to be honest with you, I absolutely loved it. I loved it. But Ohio State fans, make sure you're dialed in right here, man. We talk college football every single day. We are live Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 11 a.m. Eastern, talking ball and only ball. No, no additives, nothing that you don't care about when it comes to college football. It's just the sport that we love, so make sure you're subscribed. Also, make sure you're following me on Instagram and on Twitter, at JD Pakelta State, with everything that we are doing here. So thank you in advance for that. We talk so much going into this game about the new Notre Dame, and I still think that that label is fair to talk about with the Fighting Irish. We have another video for them coming. Notre Dame is a different outfit, but from what we saw from Ohio State yesterday, I think that's a different outfit too. If you told me going into this game, they're going to score 17 points, I'd say, man, that's too bad. Well, hey, one loss on the road doesn't hurt them. It's too bad, but you know, they'll, uh, they'll be all right. So, no, no, no. They won the football game scoring 17 points. This was a team that we thought going into it, hey, if they can set the pace, if they can make it a track meet, that's the kind of game Ohio State wants to play. Instead, man, they were gritty as all get out. Ran the football right around five yards of carry. Travian Henderson carried the mail for them. Cal McCord took care of the football. It wasn't perfect. We'll talk about him. But I think for Ohio State now, there is something to be said for finding a way. When it's not plan A, when the offense isn't firing on all cylinders, when the defense is playing bend but don't break. And to find a way to get it done, I said the same thing about Florida State when they beat Clemson yesterday. Great teams find a way when they don't have their plan A. When you have to counterpunch, that's when you find out what you have under the hood. And this team under the hood at Ohio State, ton of grit, ton of character, ton of resolve. All the cliches you want to throw at it, you can throw them out there because it's true. And Ryan Day is like, it's Ohio against the world. And that was the way that they played yesterday. And I absolutely loved it. Going to Kyle McCord, man. He was getting comfortable yesterday. Finished 21 of 37, 240, no touchdowns, no picks. Could have had a touchdown. Nice throw to Emeka Ibuka. Got to finish it. It is what it is. For Kyle McCord yesterday, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't perfect. Some might even say it wasn't that pretty. But when the chips were down, when you needed a play from your starting quarterback, when you need a two-minute drive to go and win the football game, for him to deliver, you can't fake that, man. You don't get to do that on you don't get to do that in seven on seven. You don't get to do that in routes on air. You can't teach that. You can't coach that. You either have it or you don't. And so, if you're Ryan Day, you have to feel so good that you made him your starting quarterback you have to feel so much validation about making number six your guy and just the heart of a lion man the character he showed yesterday to stay in it and to lead that team down there to to, to score with a, a second left on the clock and to make throw after throw on third down and fourth down deliver strikes like I was so impressed by the way that he competed his tail off yesterday and that's what it's going to take for this Ohio State football team make no mistake about it as good as they were yesterday on the offensive line, as many plays as they made defensively, it will still be a quarterback-driven operation for them going forward. So was the formula yesterday going to be good enough for them to win a national title? Probably need to score more than 17 points, right? Probably something they need to do a little bit more effectively, offensively. But even so, man, like to be able to win a game in that style, I cannot say it too many times. And to have your quarterback play the way he did in those clutch moments. Like that's the mark of a football team that I think is going to compete for some really exciting things in November and early in the year 2024. So now when it, when it comes to Ryan Day, a lot was made about what he said post game on the field. And I loved it. He was fired up. He doubled down on it in his post game press conference to set the table for you. Lou Holtz, 
Pat McAfee show, I guess it was Friday, goes out there and is like, we're going to beat Ohio State. He says we in the sense of Notre Dame. We're going to beat Ohio State, and I'm paraphrasing here, but he's like, we're going to beat them because we're the more physical football team, and everybody beats Ohio State because they're the more physical football team. If you beat Ohio State, it's because you're more physical. And Ryan Day heard that. I promise you tucked it away in the back of his mind for the post-game interview and just let him know, man, hey, that's... He said, I wonder where Lou Holtz is right now. I want to talk to him. Essentially just started talking his cash and defending his football team, saying, I don't know where this narrative came from. We played one bad half of football in Ann Arbor a couple of years ago where we weren't that physical. And I mean, ever since then, like, we're we're a physical football team. I don't know where people get off saying that. And for him, I mean, one, I want to say that's true. Okay, so Ohio State, to say they're not a tough football team, I think is just, quite frankly, blatantly untrue. Now, were there times where they were out-toughed? Absolutely. I think you look at the game in Columbus last year, and there were some poor fits, and there were some things they didn't do well. But to say it wasn't a tough football team is just one untrue. So what Ryan Day was saying, I think that's 100% the case. Tough football team. Second part, that's the edge that I want my head coach to have from that locker room in Columbus. And quite frankly, I think that's the edge this team is going to need in 2023 to get to where they want to go. They got to have that chip on their shoulder. They got to have that disrespected feeling. They got to have that us against the world mentality. And it showed yesterday in that football game on the final play in Ryan Day's postgame press conference. And I'll tell you what, man, if my coach goes to war for me publicly, I will go to war for him on that field. If you're going to defend us in a very public forum like that and call out Lou Holtz after he called out all of us, man, like, okay, we're we're in the foxhole with you, coach. All right, when 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 the water gets hot, I promise you, we're 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 locking in. We're ready for it. And so I'm just saying right now, like, if Ohio State can play this style the rest of the way, obviously I think they gotta probably still be able to capitalize on the talent they have on the outside. You gotta unlock the skill players with a Mecca Ibuka and you gotta have Marvin Harrison Jr. E. Like you probably have to still have this Ferrari rev the engine. We understand that. But if you can play this kind of style of football and win up front in the way they did yesterday enough, I understand Notre Dame still got there. It's running the football. You'll correct it. You'll look on film and you'll find a way to get it fixed. Still only allowed 14 points. I want to stress that 14 points were allowed from Ohio State's defense yesterday. What does that mean for the game against Penn State? What does that mean for the game against Michigan where they're going to test you up front, where they're going to be able to run the football and make it a, a point to play that physical style like Notre Dame tried to play yesterday and did so? I, I can't wait to see. I cannot wait to see because it feels like this is a different Ohio State team than we saw last year. And I don't mean just from a physical approach. I mean just as a whole. There is a new edge to this football team. You still have to score points offensively. I, wanna, I don't want to excuse that. you got to score more points. But at the end of the day, the edge they played with, the edge they seem to have internally, I think makes Ohio State a dangerous operation for the rest of the college football landscape. So, we will keep talking about the Buckeyes. We will keep talking about all things college football every single day, as we always do on this very channel. We got predictions for week five of the college football season live and living color Tuesday of this week, 11 a.m. Eastern. Make sure you're dialed in. Make sure you're subscribed. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. We're going to keep this party rolling. We will see y'all next time. Hey y'all, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.